Did you know George Washington inherited 10 enslaved people at the age of 11 when his father died? He purchased dozens more as an adult. And when he married Martha Custis in his late 20s, she brought even more enslaved people with her to Mount Vernon. In 1778, Washington sent a letter to his cousin confiding that he wanted to get clear of slave ownership. At the time, it wasn't even legal to free them without a special act from the state legislature. He stopped buying and selling enslaved people after the Revolutionary War. But when it became legal to free them in 1782, he didn't.